How you doing everybody? This is Mike from Lumen Lights and this video tutorial is how to use our quad LED 12 bulb Parkin. Each bulb has four colors. It has red, green, blue, and white. All right, and there are a total of 12 bulbs, 10 watts per bulb. These things are very, very bright. Uh, they're a lot fatter than our other 10 millimeter uh, bulb par cans, but they're also drawing a lot more heat because of the size of the LEDs and there's a, there's a big old aluminum heat sink inside which accounts for a lot of the width. Um, but like our other cans, it has a four button LCD display and everything is labeled menu, minus, plus, enter, DMX out, DMX in, power out and power in for power daisy chaining. Let's go through the menus. Like our other lights, we start off with the dress, hit enter, and you'll see A001, that's address 1, and that can go all the way up to address 512 because there are 512 DMX channels. We're going to leave that on channel 1. Uh, next menu item, CHND, that's the number of channels, and this light can be either four channels four basic colors, red, green, blue, and white, or seven channels, which gives you the addition of strobing, uh, premix colors, and fading, master dimming or fading. Uh, so let's leave that on seven channel. After CHND is SLND, hit enter, and that is for your master or slave. So you have master or slave. Okay? We're going to leave that on master, hit enter. Next item, SHND, hit enter. And SHND you have several different options. You can put the light in sound mode and if you want to put this in sound hit enter. It goes back to SHND. Hit enter again. It's going to blink sound and leave it there for about 15 seconds. We're about 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, I was off a little bit, but there we go. We are now in sound active mode. Also in that menu, in SHND, we have sound. We can hit the plus button to go up one. You'll see color. Hit enter. And now these are the pre-programmed colors in the light. Color 1 is red. Color 2 is green. Color 3 is blue. Color 4 is white. And then the colors after that are a mixture of the different colors to create different shades of color purples, reds, pinks, magentas, so on and so forth and there are a total of 15 built-in colors or pre-programmed colors uh, the last one being white, all the LEDs are on and you do get a true white out of this light because we've got the white LEDs in there and it's a bright white, these are extremely bright, I can't stress that enough and then program, or I should say color number after 15 is going to be auto and auto is where the colors are going to snap from one color to the next color and it goes through all the different pre-built colors alright let's get out of that after SHND the next menu, uh, uh, menu item is manual hit enter now in manual mode you'll see it'll go to red hit enter and you see a value of 255 that is the brightness of the red LEDs. 255 is the brightest, 1 or 0 is totally off, and then 1 turns them on very low, and so on and so forth, all the way up to their brightest setting, which again is at 255. Let's put that back to where it was. Enter. Hit the up arrow button, or the plus key. Go to the next color, green. Hit enter. It's set at 255. We're not going to change it. I'm just going to leave it there. Hit enter again to go back. Hit your plus button again. The next color blue. Enter. It's at 255. Hit enter to go back once you set it. Hit the plus button again. White. It's at 255. I'm going to leave it there. So hit enter again. And then you're back to the beginning red. To get out of the menu, just hit the menu button. There you are. Back to manual. Hit the plus button again to go up to our next menu, which is test. This is going to test the LED bulbs. Just hit enter. And what this is doing is it is going to cycle through each color through the uh, reds, greens, blues, whites, 
and then it's going to start mixing a few basic colors. But this way you see that all the LEDs are working. And these lights are grouped on two circuits. There is a circuit of five. And there's a, actually I should say, there's a, yes, there's a, a, a circuit of, of uh, seven, two, four, six, excuse me, six, I can't count. A circuit of six and then the inner circle. So two circuits of lights. All right, let's get out of test, hit menu. Next item is FHR5, and that's the fixture hours, hit enter. And this light has three hours of use on it, so this was only tested for three hours. Normally, the factory test these for over 24 hours, so I'm wondering why they only tested it for three hours. We'll test it here uh, for longer than that so we can get some more time out of it and just make sure that everything is good on the light. And that is the last item is the fixture hours and we're back to address now in DMX mode um, depending if you're using a software controller or a hardware controller refer to your manual so you can see what channels do what uh, most software controllers today including Freestyle and Martin DMX all of them actually do not include the extra color of white or amber or if they do it's not something that you can incorporate with a color mixer or the color wheel as they call it. Uh, so if you were to mix colors, the red, green, and blues would mix to make the colors, but the white, or if you had amber, they wouldn't be on. You would have a separate channel fader to do color correction or to turn them on manually. Uh, so that's where the pre-built programs or the pre-built colors in all of these lights come in handy. Any light that's got more than red, green, blue usually has pre-built colors and either in a computer program or on a hardware controller with faders you can uh, that particular channel that does the colors you just pick the color you want and control it that way where you would move a fader or a slider or a software slider to get to the color you want because as of right now nobody has created a color picker or a color wheel which will when you hit purple use all four or all five uh, different colors or six now because there's a uh, there's fixtures that have two shades of white and amber for a total of, of six colors, red, green, blue, amber, white one, and white two. But again, there are no color pickers that I know of right now that will incorporate all six colors in color mixing. It's usually just red, green, blue. So in those cases, you would need to use the pre-built programs if you're using a DMX controller to get the colors you want, or you would manually mix in your yellows or your whites with the RGB mix mode. So this concludes the tutorial for our quad LED Parcan. This is Mike from Lumen Lights. Visit us at www.lumenlights.com for more tutorials and demo videos on all our products.